So let us start with trigonometry. Uh, to start with, we'll have something called trigonometric identities. Let us understand what are the basic trigonometric ratios. I have this right angle triangle A, B, C. Correct? Now here, uh, using Pythagoras theorem, what can we say? We can say that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. This is what we have. Now I am going to divide both the sides of this equation by AC square. So it is going to be AB upon AC whole square plus BC upon AC whole square and that is going to be equal to AC upon AC whole square. Alright, so now uh, now I am going to do something else, something related to trigonometry now. Now I am going to call this angle theta, right? So what is my sine theta? Sine theta is the ratio of opposite side to the hypotenuse is equal to AB upon AC is my hypotenuse here and cos theta is equal to now it is the adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Sine theta and cos theta. Now look here. AB upon AC. Is it not sine theta? So sine theta square. Sine square theta. Plus now BC upon AC. Plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Right. So, this is our first trigonometric identity. Now, let us, uh, let us divide both the sides by cos square theta here. We are dividing equation 1, both the sides of equation 1 by cos square theta. So, this is going to be sin square theta upon cos square theta plus cos square theta upon cos square theta is equal to 1 upon cos square theta. Right? Now obviously this cos square theta upon cos square theta is equal to 1. Sin square theta upon cos square theta. Is it not our tan square theta? So tan square theta plus 1 is equal to now here's the um, here's the thing that you know you have to you have to take reciprocal of cos theta and we define 1 upon cos theta is equal to sec theta that is this ratio is called secant ratio like sine ratio cosine ratio tangent ratio reciprocal of cosine is called secant reciprocal of sine theta is called cosec theta and reciprocal of tan theta is called cot theta okay so now here my tan square theta plus 1 is going to be equal to sec square theta so that was after we divided by cos square theta, both the sides of equation 1, correct? And then we get this second idea. So likewise, if I divide both the sides of this equation by sin square theta, I am going to get something else. So what do I get there? So it would be 1 plus cos square upon sin square. Now here, reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta. But then what is my tan theta? Is it not sine upon cos? So reciprocal of sine upon cos is going to be equal to cos upon sine. So over here I am going to get cos square theta upon sine square theta and that is going to be cot square theta. And reciprocal of sine square theta 
it is going to be cosec square theta. This is number 3. So, we have we have three identities here. Actually, I wouldn't call them three separate identities. They are a single identity. It's cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. And these are just some you know, special cases of the earlier identity. We will be widely uh, using these three equations or these three identities in the uh, in the numericals that we solve. In the next video, we are going to deal with you know a few more interesting properties of trigonometric functions. Thank you.